Shalom de la bless you. I welcome you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please, if you're seeing me for your very first time, my name is Ethel Betangba, and this is prayer and the prophetic with Pastor Ethel. You are very much welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Excuse me, please. Hallelujah. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. You are about to see God in a dimension you've never seen. And you will be so amazed. The title of this prophetic word says, you've been through water fire. You've been through a lot. It's This is the kind of prophetic word that will take you from nothing to something. Wait until I finish talking about what it entails. This is the kind of prophetic word that will take you from a nobody into becoming a somebody. This particular prophetic word is, is going to do a lot in your life. I say it's going to do a lot in your life because this is a prophetic word and it's not just a prophetic word. This is direction. This is clarity. Somebody you've been trusting and you've been praying to God for direction. You've been praying to God for clarity. You really want to hear what God has to say about you your life at this point in time. You want to hear God's next word or God's next move for your life at this point in time. You you are at that stage and at that point in your life where you, you just want to say, God, okay, if you're telling me this, I'm going to do this. I will do it. If you're telling me, I will. And if you're not saying it, okay, I will. Now, most of the times we tell the Lord, okay, if you say this, I'm going to do it. If you don't say it, I'm going to do it. And most of the times we ask on the advices of people, whereas we're already taking our decisions. Now, somebody was asking me um, about an advice, about something. And then I told the person, to the best of my knowledge about this particular issue, this is what happens. And then the person said, okay, but what do you think? What is the decision that we should make? I told the person, I'm sorry. I don't have any decision to give you at this point in time. But based on what I have explained to you, you should make a decision because it is very clear. If I say, yes, maybe something happens tomorrow, you're going to put me in trouble. If I say no, but I didn't feel led in my spirit to tell the person, okay, do this or don't do this. But guess what happens? Few minutes after I got to it got to my hearing that the person had already taken her decision. Like they had taken, they were the two of them, they had already taken their decision. But it got to my hearing that they were they are taking the decision. And then why were you still asking me? You had made the decision, started the process already. Why were you still asking me? You know, and that is one thing about human beings. Some people just want to hear your contribution about something. And sometimes you're going to tell them this is what God is saying. If they have made that decision, no matter what you tell them that this is what God is saying, they will not change. Now, why am I saying this? If you believe in God for direction, you believe in God for clarity, and you know that I trust this person God is using, I trust the word that God releases through this particular person, I trust what this particular person is doing, oh God, I want you to give me a word, and I trust whatever you're going to be giving me, the direction about my love life, my marriage, my finances, my job, if I should stay or not. Now, let me tell you, when you believe in God for that, you must believe God with no strings attached. Somebody, you might love another person and you're like, God, is this a person for me? Just the fact that you already felt in love with that particular person, you would feel like that is the person for you. Why? Of course, you're in love with a person. And somebody maybe you don't love, you're always going to feel like this person is not for me because you don't like the person. That happens to so many people. There are people who take decisions that the Lord tells them, don't take this. And then you go ahead to take the decision. And afterwards, you come back and you're crying. I've had some people whom I've told them, this is what God is saying about your life, you know. And to God be the glory, they are fine today because they heard what I said. And other people, I don't know their lives today. Some of them are regretting. Some of them are crying because of the opposite, that God said this and they did the opposite. You're watching me right now. You've been through a lot. Your life has been a whole mess. I would say that. Yes, straightforward. Your life has been a whole mess. You feel like every area of your life is lacking. There's no money. 
job is causing you headache, no job even. You are at that point where you're looking at the house and you're not even satisfied with your living condition. You have responsibilities to take care of. You, you're feeling like nobody is there for you. You're feeling so alone. You're feeling so, so alone. You know, one of the things that I don't like in this particular life is that feeling of so alone. The feeling of so alone doesn't just necessarily mean that you're alone. But the feeling of feeling so alone means that in the inside there is a void in you. So you can be in a place or in a house where so many people are in that particular house, but there is a particular void in the inside of you that you cannot just explain. You can be married to somebody, but you're still feeling alone in that particular marriage. You can be in a relationship, but you're still feeling so alone. Mm -hmm. So feeling so alone is so vast. You've been through a lot. You've tried all you could. You've tried a lot. You test this side, you test this side, and you keep trying, but you know and you feel it sometimes that God wants to bless you. You know it and you feel it sometimes that God wants to do something different in your life. You know it and you feel it sometimes that this is the day, this is the time, this is the season, but you just cannot explain what keeps happening to you. You've been through a lot. You've, you've been through a lot that if you should explain your story, someone will look at you and act seriously. But the funniest thing about it is that you try to always uphold yourself. You try to always keep yourself and somebody can look at you pass by and don't even know that is what you're going through. Someone will look at you and feel like, oh, wow, life is going all good for this particular person. But you alone knows what you're going through because you're so secretive that you will not expose it out. You're so secretive that you will not spill it out on people. You're just going to sit and say, God, help me and let's go ahead with this. You know, the Lord wants to help you at this point in time. You battle with a lot. Joseph kept going through from one battle to the other. What happened in the life of Joseph is that he left the prison to the palace. And that is what is about to happen to somebody. I want to make a prayer for you. And this will be a prayer of transformation. It will be a prayer of graduation. You will become from a tenant to a landlord. From joblessness, you will be an employer. You will Connect yourself to this prayer. How are you going to connect yourself? As you're connecting, as you're receiving this prayer, as you believe it, the Lord will drop a great idea. If he doesn't drop a great idea, as you're connecting, God is recommending you. He's dropping your name in the mind of somebody. He's dropping your name in that contract. He's doing a connection in the realm of the spirit. And make sure that when you have a connection, make sure you have something to offer. If you have a connection without something to offer, you're going to become a homeless. I pray for for you right now, begin to receive it. Let your life be transformed and rest stored in the name of Jesus. Let your life be transformed and restored in the mighty name of Jesus. Somebody type it on the comment section. Connect yourself, make that confession. Say, My life is transformed and restored. My life is transformed and restored. My life is transformed and restored. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Make sure you have something to offer when the Lord gives you that connection. Now, may the Lord bless you, keep you, cast his face to shine on you. May he be gracious to you and may he give you peace. The shalom of the Lord, nothing missing, nothing broken in the name of Jesus. I love you so much, I do. God bless you amazingly and abundantly. Shalom.